WAFC 2020 question number one, elective math says that a binary operation delta is defined on the set of real numbers R by x delta y to be equal to x plus y plus 10. We should find the first one says we should find the identity element. Okay, so first, we want to find the identity element, but we know the formula given to us x delta y to be equal to x plus y plus 10. We want to find the identity element. So you can say that let E be the identity element. We also know that the identity element is commutative. So if you have x delta E is the same as E delta x and this is equal to x. Now, but x delta e is equal to from the definition that is x plus e plus 10. Now what is x delta e? x delta e is the same as what? x. So beneath this we have x equal to x plus e plus 10. Now from here we want to find the identity element. We want to find e. We have to make e the subject. So we have x. This will come here minus x. This will come in here minus 10 equal to e. x minus x, that is 0. So you have e to be equal to negative 10. So e is equal to negative 10. So that is the identity element. Now let's see the second one. The second one says you find the inverses of 3 and negative 5 under um, delta. Now we can say that let this be the inverse. Of x. Now, from definition, we know that x inverse delta x is the same as x delta x inverse, and this should be equal to what? The identity element. But then what is the identity element? The identity element from here is 10. Identity element is 10. Now, hence we know x delta x inverse. This is equal to what? x plus x inverse plus 10. But then x delta x inverse is should be equal to what? The identity element. But then the identity element is negative 10. So under this, that is negative 10 equal to x plus x inverse plus 10. We want to find x inverse. So let's make x inverse the subject. So we have negative 10. This coming here minus 10 and then minus x equal to x inverse. Hence, our x inverse, negative 10 minus 10, that is negative 20, and then minus x. This is the x inverse. But then the question says that the inverse is of 3 and the negative 5. Hence, therefore, 3 inverse, when x is 3, what do you have? That is negative 20 minus 3, and this is negative 23. Now, the next one is for us to find negative 5 inverse. So that is, we have negative 5 inverse. So that is negative 20. Now, where I see my x, that is negative 5. Now, this will be negative 20 plus 5. Why plus? Negative times negative. That is positive. And this is just negative 15. That is very, very trivial. If you've not subscribed, please make sure that you do that. You see the books on the screen. Get a copy for yourself.